The research proposal is a very important part of your application and it's, it's used to demonstrate quite a number of, of aspects of your readiness for research. Um, what I always suggest to my PhD students when I'm talking to them about application or even further on when we're in the PhD, when they're writing their introductions, when they're writing their chapters, is always to bear in mind three key questions. And these are the really essential ones to have in mind for your research proposal. And those are what, why and how. That's what your research proposal should always answer. And just to explain what, what's within each of those questions, under what, that's where you're saying what the broad area is that you're going to work on, and crucially, what the research questions are that you're going to be focusing on. And remember, when we think about research questions, this is a thesis, and the clue is in the word there, this is about testing a hypothesis. In some cases, you will have a very clear research question that you want to answer. In others, it'll be a more open-ended, more exploratory kind of a question. But either way, what you're doing is testing a hypothesis. If I think away back to my own PhD, um, I was looking at a particular French writer, and I was interested in particular types of metaphor that he was using. And my hunch, my thesis, my hypothesis, was that these sources of metaphor were more important than previous scholars had noted. So what I was doing was kind of testing that through my thesis. And that's an example of something that's quite specific because I was looking at a particular source of metaphor, but also quite an open-ended question. It really was, how important is this? My hunch was that it was important, and that's what I wanted to test. So the what question, coming back to that, is what are you doing? And crucially, what are your research questions? So that's the what. Um, why is the really important question. So with a PhD, one of the things you've got to be aware of is how you are making an original contribution to research in your field. So partly the why question is about saying, what else has already been written out here? That's your literature review. It's explaining what other scholars have already said, but crucially identifying what they haven't said and where you think you can find a gap that is going to make a new contribution to the field. What I would say, though, is that it's not enough simply to say no one has written on this before, because it might be that no one has written on it before because it's not very exciting. You've got to make the case for why. Why is it important? Why is knowledge about my field going to change by virtue of me having done this piece of research? And those are the sorts of questions you ask uh, under why. So the why question is the second one. The third one then is how. And that's the place where you're setting out what we talk about in terms of research met methodology. And re research methodology is simply explaining to your reader, how am I going to do this? So it might be the case that in some research topics you would need to interview a wide range of participants. So your uh, research methodology would start with the creation of a questionnaire or a, a semi-structured interview format. From there you'd be identifying that you would get appropriate ethics approvals. Then you would tell us how you're going to get your sample of people. Then you'd explain that you were going to use the data, how you're going to analyse that data, how that's all going to come together. That's a very clear step-by-step -step way of setting out how you're going to do it. And part of the reason for that is to convince your reader that you know how to do this. We don't expect you to be fully fledged independent researchers, but we want to see that you can understand how you would begin to go about this, what sort of steps you would have to take, how you would begin to engage with different stakeholders, how you would begin to analyse your data. How is also about telling us the time scale. Again, you don't know the details of this. By definition, things will change as you move through your research. Some of your methodologies will not work quite as you intended. You may be wanting to work with particular groups and for whatever reason that doesn't work out. So you're constantly, constantly renegotiating, reshaping your research proposal as you do the research. But what we do also want to see at the outset under the how is how you imagine that you're going to be able to fit this all in over a three year period. So that might be saying, in the first three months, I'm going to be conducting a literature review. In the next two months, I'm going to do field work in another country. In the third uh, three months, I'm going to write up my first chapter, for example. And this is about demonstrating to the people who are reading this the feasibility of your project. The three key areas always to bear in mind then when you're writing your research proposal are what, why and how. What is the research you're doing? What are your research questions? Why are you doing it? So what have others said in this field? Why is it important? What potential impact could your research have on your own field and the field beyond uh, academia? And how are you going to do it? What methodologies? What's the timeline? If you include all of that in your research proposal, anyone reading it, any panel considering it, will think, yes, this person understands what research is, and I believe that they are well suited to do it. The other very key bit of advice I would give is Make sure there are no typos. It's one of the first things that any reviewer will notice. And if you're going to be working with someone to write 100,000 words on a PhD, they want to know that you know how to check. So 
take out all the typos, make sure it's well written, well structured, make sure that the research proposal can be understood by a non-specialist audience because in some competitions it may be the case that people outside your discipline are assessing your proposal as well. And keep to the word limit. Do exactly what you're told to do uh, in the instructions. So write the number of words that are asked, structure it clearly and uh, keep a focus on the overall questions of what, why and how as you go through.